full time highlights, 5 o'clock kickoff. And Jamun Shepard got things going, testing Jaden White early in the encounter. But after that, in the first half, it really was Cavalier piling on the pressure, especially through Dwayne Atkinson, queuing up Calvin, who sent it across. The header was over the top from the captain, Gadiel Irving. More pressure, especially from the industry of Atkinson here. He orchestrated, but he couldn't find the finish. It was a cheeky attempt there. And incidentally, on the other end of the pitch, a goal of that quality, of that ilk, would have been scored. Eric Edwards coming big there from that delivery, playing it away. Kelly Irving with another delivery. McClear with the flick on header. It was saved again by Edwards. Great opportunity again for Atkinson. Eric Edwards coming out big, making himself big and blocking the opportunity there. Another one would come for Atkinson after James Thomas gave it away at a dangerous area. He flashed it wide. It just wasn't his evening. Here, Arnett Gardens hold a play from Fabian Reed. Skill and guile and perhaps slouch and goal from Jaden White. All of the above. Here's the finish again. And he was scampering across, but he couldn't get to it. And Jaheem National Thomas sent Arnett Gardens in the lead. Just about the 40th minute, that goal. Didn't take long for Cavalier to respond. Gadiel Irving, what a delivery. Chalmara Calvin. Always in the goals. Whenever he plays, there is an opportunity for him. And he took that one with a plum. Edwards beaten at his near post. Perhaps should have come forward with a great level of conviction, Eric Edwards. But take nothing from the finish. Jalmara Calvin. Second half action now. Good play here. Saved by Jaden White from the shop of Shepard. Shea Smith had that opportunity. Saved by Vino Barclay. The sports makes that moment. Glorious opportunity for Shea Smith. And that was the end of it. Honors even. Full time stats. Four shots on target from 11 attempts for Arnett Gardens, four from 12 for Cavalier. There were some 20 fouls, 12 for Arnett Gardens, eight for Cavalier. Four yellow cards given to Cavalier. They must be careful in the second leg. Two offsides for Arnett, one for Cavalier. Five corners for Arnett Gardens, three for Cavalier. And the line share of the possession, 56. Saves even among them, three apiece. And it is one all the score at the end. We go to Lejay, he has the man of the match. Yeah, I'm here with Marlon Martin, today's man of the match. It was a really tough game for you, I can imagine. And you know, you, you did a lot of work in the midfield. You even took over the captain's armband. How was the game for you? Um, I, I think it was a very good game, but... Start over, sorry. Yeah, the, no, how was the game for you? I was asking how was the game for you. Yeah, I think it's a very good match. Uh, we think we don't start good and that kind of cause, but second leg, we do your thing. Yeah, we're live, man. You know, you don't need to worry about that, man. Um, yeah, it was a really tough game. Um, this Cavalier team, they put a lot of pressure on you. What do you think that you changed to do better? Um, I think we have to take our chance, and Cavaliers, I know that they're very good defensively. They're very disciplined, so... As we get a chance, we have to make it count. And at that, I go, make it go through. And we take our chance. Uh, yeah. what, what do you think you can do better in the second leg to really get that improvement? Uh, I think we can play much faster. I, I think we can play much faster. We're playing slow and we have to be better than that if we want to reach the final. We have to play a little bit faster, quick thinking, quick transition, and just take our chance. Yeah. Well, it was an excellent performance by you today, and you showed a lot of leadership to even take over the captain's arm, but best of luck in the second leg. Yeah, best of luck. Yeah, Marlon Martin there. Really tough battling performance by him. Showed a lot of effort in that middle part of the game. So tired, even forgot that we were alive. <laughs> Wanted to start over, but he'll have another chance to execute on the pitch next week. So too will this man's team. Coach, you don't look too pleased after that game, but it was a pretty tough game. I imagine that there are some aspects that you're pretty positive about still. 
Yeah, I mean, a little bit disappointed with the way we um, execute for, for some parts of the game based on what we discussed and what we know was coming at us. I didn't think we handled some of the situations good. I didn't think we make some good decisions, you know. Um, and, and, and for that, that I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed. But happy that we're, we're heading into the next leg um, and we're not trailing. And you were concerned before the game, a lot of people were saying that Cavalier would come out a bit slow. They came out as fast as you saying both even starting out there. But your team adjusted and they really came into the game. And I would say for the last 60 minutes, you're the dominant force. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I thought we took too long to adjust. Though, you know, they came and high press us. And um, we spoke about things like this, you know. We had to get out of the presses either through or over. And we were trying to play through. It wasn't working and we took way too long to get over. But nevertheless, um, we fixed some of the things. And, and um, happy to, as long as we put down the ball and settle, there are a lot of openings that created for us. I didn't think our decision making were, uh, uh, up top was the best. Um, and I think that's where we fought tonight. And you made an early substitution in the game, you know, taking off Roshane Thompson, bringing on Chase Smith, who I think was pretty excellent um, yet again. What was your thinking behind that change? I mean, we, we, were, we just weren't keeping the ball, you know, and too many turnovers from both Shepard and, and, and Thompson. Um, and I mean, we had to make some adjustments, you know. Tough call. It just wasn't his day today, you know. Um, he, he was just not in sync today. Um, and I, I, I mean, I didn't want it to hurt us. And I mean, I'm, I'm the type of coach, if I say well, I need to make adjustments, if it's minute one, I'm going to do it. Well, that was a pretty brave call. It worked out in the end. Well, all the best in the second leg, coach. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah, Coach Xavier Gilbert there made those adjustments. It paid off, got the lead. Yes, Cavalier came back into the game, but Arnett Garns were pretty good for most of that game. Coach, there was a lot of talk before the game that, you know, Cavalier would be a bit tired coming into it. You showed a lot of energy to start out with, but eventually your legs started to fade. Yeah, um, but I don't think we were tired. I mean, you could say we were at the better of the run up play. It's just that we never converted, so we kept on pressing, and um, that kind of took a toll later. And your attack seemed pretty good to start the game. The pressing, as you mentioned, was excellent as well. Was that a weakness that you saw in Arnett Gardens from the start? Yeah, because I know that they are not natural defenders, so we thought that they wouldn't be able to float at the box so easily, so that's why we did that. I know this Cavalier unit is a pretty young team, a team full of energy, but uh, I do think that the team really came together, especially in the middle part of the game when Arnett Gardens was putting on some pressure. Yeah, I mean, Arnett Gardens, you know, started tentatively. We had the upper hand, but they came into their own, and then they got the goal against the runner play, and that kind of energized them. But I thought it was a pretty good game from both teams, and fitting up for a semi-final. And you're still feeling pretty confident that you'll make a, yet another JPL final next week? <laughs> I hope so. All right, all the best, coach. Thank you.